Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Fire at Photoshop, and today, uh, we're gonna be, as you heard, as you saw in the title, we're gonna be blending two faces. So basically, we're gonna take one face, take another face, and bam, we're gonna make, uh, one face. So, what's gonna happen is, um, I tried this a couple of times, so, it's, if you do it right, it's hilarious, it's really funny. Today, we're gonna be using two very iconic faces. You guys are probably gonna recognize two of them. If you don't recognize one of them, You'll definitely recognize the other if you live in America. And, um, I'll see you guys in Photoshop. Alright, so we're in Photoshop. And, um, what we're gonna do, first, we're just gonna add an extra layer right here so that we can not mess with the background. And we can delete all these layers if we want to, just so that we can, uh, restart. And, like I said, this, this face right here is not this one. Uh, that's my recording screen. This right here, very iconic face. Uh, this is actually what I'm talking about. We're gonna use this guy, Kim Jong Un, and uh, we're gonna slap his face on there. Hope it doesn't nuke me for this. Um, we're just gonna we're just gonna put that right there. And the second one, I already gave you a sneak preview by accident. It is the laser face, his um laser beams iconic face. We're just gonna slap that on there. Besides it, however you want, it doesn't matter. And um. Just gonna put that on there next. We're gonna take the lasso tool, and what you're gonna do is you're basically just gonna uh, do this and just kind of outline the nose, the mouth, the eyes, and the eyebrows, and uh, what just whatever features you need to outline. We're gonna do that. And then we're gonna hit Command C and Command V, and that'll copy and paste the part that you outlined onto a new layer. And then what we can do is uh, we can just right click over here and delete the old layer and we uh... so basically you're gonna have layer one and three now because you just deleted layer two and uh... now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go back to the resize and move tool and you're basically just gonna fit this guy's face right onto where you want um... just a tip you might want to turn the opacity down a little bit so that you can see through and uh, get the eyes and mouth and nose lined up just right. Um, I think I've done that pretty well so far. Alright. Alright, so you're just going to finish resizing that once the opacity is done. Oh. Alright. And um, I think that's basically how I want his face to turn out. So what we're going to do is... it's. This is going to be pretty pretty hilarious, as you guys can probably already tell. Alright, now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to right-click on the layer 3. Except for I spent forever trying to figure this out, and it was so frustrating. Right-click on the picture, the little picture down here of layer 3. If you right-click down here, different options will come up. Then if you click on the layer thumbnail, then just click select pixels. It'll select all the pixels around. Um... Now make sure you uh, now you're gonna go up here to the to the top bar thing and hit select and inverse so that um, when you select and modify it'll so it'll uh, you you inverse what it's gonna uh, you what it's going to um, like affect so before it would affect all the outside and now that you in inverse it it would it comes to it affects all the inside so you're gonna go to modify expand and um set it to about six pixels actually not about exactly about six pixels and um what you're gonna do is basically you're just gonna make it you're gonna uh make toggle the visibility of layer three so that it's off um because what you're doing is you're deleting uh th this th your layer one person's face so that the layer two uh, layer three person's face really is um has like and it, it works and what you did is uh you made it small you made it smaller so there's a little bit of wiggle room anyway um you're just gonna uh you're gonna do that and you're gonna select inverse again and just hit delete oh wait never mind <laughs> my bad uh make sure you're on layer one before you do it and then so select inverse and then delete now that's not what i wanted to do um what you actually do is I, I select inverse too many times. Just forgive me, I I uh, really did not mean to do that. So we're gonna go back and toggle the visibility of layer three again. 
Now, just make sure you're following along with this, guys, because it, and also it seems like it's a lot of steps, but it's not actually once you uh, do it. This is like my third time doing it, and as you can see, I've already memorized it. I've got it down. Um, just don't be discouraged if it's hard the first time. It, it takes a little bit of practice. Anyway, um, what's going to happen is we have this, and we're so close, all right? So what we're going to do is we're just going to hit layer 3 and then select pixels again so that it selects the outside. And then uh, we're going to hit either command or control. And then, so we're going to select both layers. And then, uh, guys, this is this is the moment of truth. What's going to happen is we're going to go edit. We're going to go auto blend layers, right? Make sure that panorama is on, not stack images. That, I'm not sure what that does, but I'm not, it doesn't work. And then seamless tones and colors and content aware fail, transparent areas, whatever. Do all that. And then if we hit OK, it should just work. There we go. All right, that is like, oh goodness, that's. I feel kind of bad, but like I love that. All right, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take a screenshot of that. Let's, let's take a screenshot of that real quick. That is too good to miss. That is that is too good to miss. Um, uh huh. I'm gonna head back to the webcam so that I can just say goodbye, but. I don't ever want to leave this. I'm gonna say this is like the the uh, the wa the wallpaper for my um for for the for the computer. All right, I'll see you guys back in the webcam so I can just talk for a moment before we uh, end this video. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, I just wanted to say please make sure you subscribe to my channel and like this video and share it with all your friends who also have Photoshop because I'm sure they would love to see it. Um. And uh, just please be on the be on the lookout for another video because it'll be coming soon. And I'll see you next time.